Hey, this is Clay over at Clay's AC and Auto Repair in Clay Motion here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And I'm at No Touch Timmy's, and today we're going to install some ice picks on what race sled is this, Tim? 1977 Yamaha Excitement. Okay, what size? 440. All right, so Tim's going to explain to you what he's doing here because I have no clue, but he's putting in these Stunt Boy ice picks so he can go fast on the whatever it is they race on. Oh, it's ice. <laughs> So where are you going to put it? Right there? Yep. All right. You want to offset a little bit to the side here the side here so that way you don't have the same groove in the ice so you get fresh ice with each pit. Oh, cool. So this one would be up here just a little bit opposed to the next one that might be down in here, you know, ish area. You know, and then you're going to repeat that step about, oh, I don't know, 143 more times or so. But he's going to show us the whole procedure for doing one. <laughs> well, we'll start down here because I'm doing a V pattern, and then we'll do up here later. But we'll drill two holes in the middle next to each other. Now, do you stick the drill through your finger when you do that? Yeah. Okay. It's very good to do that. It feels great. Have you done that at all? No. Nope. Okay. Well, that's good. What kind of drill bit you use in there? It's actually a tubular drill bit for cutting through rubber and you sharpen the head. Oh, okay. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I guess we're learning something. What you putting on there now, Tim? Just a quarter 20 bolt with a T-nut backwards and a backer so that way you can pull it through the rubber. Okay. So you take your T-nut, stick it on the back side. No touch that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's called No Touch Timmy's. He doesn't want me touching anything. Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch I wasn't going to show him this thing right okay. here. Oh, yeah. So that's what it looks like. And I guess that goes on the back side, and that's kind of like the nut, right? Yep. And then this pulls it in. Okay. Otherwise, it's a pain in the butt to try and push it while you're putting it through the other side. Do you think that what you're doing is anything special from what other guys have done, or do you think that that's just the way it is? That's the way I'm everybody sure everybody does. has a different method that works for them. But. Okay. Well, so what else do we got to do? I'm a, we got to put the ice pick in it, right? Yep. We'll wait for it to sit a minute. Back it out. But when you do, why? It. Why do we wait for it to sit a minute? That way, it sinks in the rubber a little bit more. Okay, and if you pulled that off of there, the the backing uh, the backing washer might come yeah. off. Okay, I get that. And then yeah. you can start it with a little bit of Loctite, blue Loctite, red locker, then tighten it down to about where the threads are flush with the back of the T nut. Okay, and then so you should be good. so what he's saying is when you can feel. The, the tip of the ice pick come through the back of the washer right here that's about good to hold it in there and with your Loctite it'll keep the pick inside there so hey that was pretty cool uh, didn't get yelled at but once about touching stuff so it's awesome you let me touch this nuts and bolts for like three times so hey I'm on winner today hey subscribe send me your nice comments down there share my videos we'll see you at the races